Hello again, AJ Hassey from Vantage West Realty back with another video blog. And we are going to continue with the question and answers. So I'll get right into it. Uh, first question is from our client Joey. He wants to know what's the difference between an illegal suite and a legal suite. Now, firstly, I want to caution you from even using the word illegal suite. You're not breaking any actual law. It's a bylaw. And a legal suite is what we call it in the industry. But the opposite is actually not an illegal suite. It's an unauthorized accommodation. And 90% of all the suites in Kelowna and West Kelowna are unauthorized accommodation. And of course, Kelowna has less than 1% vacancy rate. So are they looking to crack down on these suites? No, absolutely not. But there's some things that you should know. A legal suite, you never have to worry about this kind of thing. But with an unauthorized uh, suite, you are at the mercy of your neighbors. So you've got to keep your tenants' cars off the road. You've got to make sure they're not playing loud music or doing anything that would interrupt the enjoyment of your neighbor's property because they'll be quick to phone in and make a complaint. Once they do that, the bylaw officer does have to come and talk to you. Sometimes you get a warning. Sometimes you get a fine. Sometimes they'll ask you to decommission the suite. So that's, uh, that's the big difference. With a legal suite, you never have to concern yourself with meeting the bylaw officer on your doorstep. So great question, Joey. Thanks. Uh, next question from Rob. He wants to know, if I had a half a million dollars to invest, where would I put it and why? Well, that's a good one. Um, recently, I've been uh, really big on apartment buildings, but they're very hard to find. So you can actually get as good, if not better, return just on a regular single family home, except for I wouldn't just take 500000 and put it down on one home. I would actually leverage that 500000 four to one, and I would have a $2.5 million portfolio bringing me about a return of about 20% cash on cash return. So I'd be looking for those properties that are renting for $2,400, $2,500 a month. And uh, with that half a million bringing me 20% return, I'm making $100,000 a year on that portfolio. And of course, now that I've got two and a half million in real estate and the market goes back to where it was and comes up 10% over the next couple of years, guess what? I make a quarter million dollars there too. So my half a million, I would spread that out over uh, four or five really uh, good, intelligent investment properties and just let the market do its thing. So great question, Rob. Thanks for that. And our last question from Scott. Uh, he wants to know, he's a local builder. He wants to know, has there been a trend away from large square footage and towards uh, smaller square footage and also with more outdoor living space? And I would say absolutely. The uh, era of McMansions is definitely um, in the rear view mirror. People aren't looking for 5,000 square foot homes anymore. What they want are really nicely appointed smaller homes, 2,000 square feet up to 3,000 with really nice finishings, really nice fixtures, and all the bells and whistles and the technology, and some of the sustainable cutting edge building practices. That seems to be what the buyer today is looking for. So not a, it's not about the massive house anymore. It's less ego driven and more lifestyle driven. So certainly uh, the smaller square footage. And as far as the outdoor living, yeah, people want their house to flow and interact with their backyard. They want to, uh, they want to have that continuity. So certainly outdoor living spaces when you're building a home, especially if you're building a home to try to resell it, have lots of really uh, well thought out outdoor living spaces. That goes a long way. So some really great questions this week and uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, never hesitate to reach out. You can catch us online. You can get an online home evaluation. You can ask us any questions or uh, do a custom search for homes on here. And of course, never hesitate to uh, give us a call the old fashioned way on the number here. Thanks so much. Wonderful. We'll see you again in a week. Bye for now.